Welcome back folks and friends, Connecting Dots here. Today's date is Tuesday, October 28, 2014. Very sad day here folks. Um, it looks like Japan's about to restart one of its first nuclear reactors. Um, in, the, in this town here, Sansum, Sansuma Sende, uh, roughly uh, 100,000 people live there. And it turns out the city's 26 assembly members have voted in favor of restarting the nuclear plant. Well, only four members voted against and three decided not to vote at all. So in case you're not aware of this, ever since this Fukushima plant went down, um, Fukushima disaster took place, all 48 of the country's nuclear reactors were gradually taken offline. And uh, honestly, I believed, I figured that the, the, the people in uh, Japan would be so disgusted with this whole Fukushima incident that they would rally together and stop uh, the, the reactors from being started. But unfortunately, they don't have a say here. The way it works over there in Japan, it's only the people in that town that get the vote on if the nuclear plant should start back up. I'm honestly, wow. Now, you may notice up here it says that the reactors are first to get approval under new safety rules. Well, if you saw the video yesterday that I uploaded here in Illinois, I showed how even at that plant, that conversion plant, uh, nuclear conversion plant, they had $40 million st spent on that plant in 2012 after f the Fukushima disaster to upgrade the plant according to uh, NRC specifications. Yet in that video, I showed how they've had repeated releases even with the new uh, upgrade here the again another massive release that hit illinois and uh, well if you watch the video here you see how it all ties back to obama and the federal reserve but anyways that's for use uh, those of you that are interested i'll leave a link down below so yeah japan's starting its new uh, restarting its reactor here and um, another thing they don't talk about is that this town here's um Sansum, Sasuma Sende is roughly, I think, 64 miles or something like that, 74 miles from an active volcano. And um, yeah, they're, they're not concerned about it. No, just go back to sleep. We need cheap fuel. That's what it, this is all about, getting cheap fuel for the residents here. So uh, another story here that I worked on three days ago, I was talking about reactor number one, how they're inserting this probe here and spraying this anti-dispersant agent to keep the um, radioactive uh, particles and dust from flying out of the building here because they're about to really uh, take off the roof and the siding so they can remove the debris. Well, I got some more uh, information on that, that whole situation, and it turns out that uh, TEPCO has now stopped doing the work here. So it says here, October 28, the Fukushima nuclear plant re uh, operator TEPCO has suspended works on removing the protective cover installed at the station's first power generating unit after heavy wind ripped off a part of the dome. That's what they're saying. And now, if, you're not, if you don't recall what this is all about, they're inserting this probe here and, and uh, spraying this special substance. And I got some footage on this thing here, uh, on this um, on this probe that they're inserting, because basically, uh, the video I made three days ago, there was no wind in sight. So it says here that the, w the wind tore off part of the dome's roof about three to six feet long. Now... Um, I'm looking over at TEPCO right now, and although we know it's early here on the West Coast, it's what, 8.30, 8.35 a.m., so it's still early morning in Japan, so I can't see what's going on there, but you are looking at Reactor 1 in the, right in front of you, and um, I guess it's on the roof part, so we can't see the, rip, uh, the rips. However, let's go back here, because I did upload some... So... I have some footage and I have uh, some pictures also, so you may recall how they are lowering this probe here down into the roof, and um, while it was cloudy that day, and there was even raindrops coming down, however, I did not see any major wind problem. This is where I'm wondering, like, whoa, hold on a second, what's going on here? So you can see some raindrops here on the camera lens, but this thing is not blowing in the wind. It's like uh, you can see the clouds moving around, but um, from what I saw that day, the, uh, for one thing, they wouldn't be doing that job if it was really he heavy winds like they're saying. Would they not stop? I I'm assuming they would. And uh, you'll see in the next clip coming up here, as that probe enters into the building, um, it doesn't seem to be swaying a whole lot, this whole mechanism, so I'm not sure where this uh, heavy wind came in, but uh, regardless, this is what they're claiming, that the heavy winds came in, and they've now had to, to, to suspend the, the remo removal of the, 
of the roof. Well, how long will it be suspended for? I mean, they were, they were spraying this anti-dispersant agent in the first place so they could, could get in there and start removing the roof and so they could get at the debris, uh, which is what I reported in the past video. But uh, now, I don't know, what's it going to be put on hold because a little bit of wind and it was ripped off part of the roof, three to six feet. Honestly, that's what they were supposed to do in the first place. So I, I don't understand why they're going to stop here just because a little bit of wind ripped off only three or four feet. So th that's the um, mechanism there that they were sticking in inside the roof. I mean, you can see that long probe. There was no drill, which is one of the things they were saying here, that this they had to drill through the roof. And I mentioned that in my past video, that I believe they said drill because they wanted people to think that's where the probe's going to come out, right there. They wanted people to think that the roof was solid. So they, they put the story out. And if you watch my video three days ago, they said they had to drill through the roof. No, that thing just punctured right through the roof. And that's why it ripped, because the roof was not solid. They wanted people to, to believe that, oh, no, it's solid. You know, they didn't say that, but they said, you know, we had to drill in the roof. There's no drilling. This, this roof is some type of, I don't know, PVC plastic. I'm not quite sure. But regardless, it's, it's not a, a nothing of a... You know, it's not concrete or anything strong like that that many people were probably assuming was covering this whole thing. It looks like just regular old tarp from, you know, <laughs> nothing special. So there's the, here's the probe. You don't see it swaying in the wind at all. So if there was any big winds, this, that whole mechanism on top would be swaying back and forth. You can see a little bit of a rip here. So maybe the wind got in after, because I what I'm assuming here is they sprayed the distur uh, this person. Uh, this is on the one end of the building. They probably worked their way across the building, puncturing several holes. And I have a feeling that these holes is what may have weakened that into uh, the entire roof. You know. Uh, if it's not very solid and you've got holes here and there, well, the wind may have came in underneath it and, uh, yeah, may have ripped it. So here's a dispersant. It's about to start spraying any second now, I think. If you haven't seen this footage for a couple of, uh, couple of days ago, well, nothing spectacular. But basically, yeah, TEPCO had to spray this uh, dispersant so they could get at uh, removing the roof off, the siding off, and they want to start tearing down all this debris from reactor number one and the reason why they're spraying the dispersant was because when they went at reactor number three all of the radioactive dust ended up flying all over the place and unfortunately we had stories here if you go watch my video I talked about radioactive rice patties uh, from the debris from reactor number three so they didn't want a, a repeat of that situation so what they've done here they've gone in and sprayed this stuff and um, well looks like they ran into a problem the wind picked up and ripped off some of the roof is that the real story? I'm not sure if that's what we're being told. Anyhow, that's it for this video, folks. Uh, like I said, sad news here. Japan's restarting its first nuclear plant. I just hope that the other countries, or the other towns, cities, don't fall for the same game. You know, it's all about money, unfortunately. You know, that, that town gets heavy government subsidies. So, yeah, not much happening here. Hope you enjoyed the info. Take care, folks.